All right, we have to find E, which is the eccentricity of the given conic. Um, the first thing we want to do is rewrite this. So we want to make this a 1, so we'll divide by 112. So divide by 112 and divide by 112. So 7 goes into 112 16 times. So you get x squared over 16 plus, and then this will be y squared over 7. And this is equal to 1. So in this problem, a squared is equal to 16, right? A, a squared is always the bigger number for an ellipse, right? This is an ellipse, and you know that because you have a, a plus sign. So for an ellipse, a squared is the bigger number, and b squared is 7. So the formula for the eccentricity of an ellipse is c over a. So what we have to do is find c. So there's an equation that relates a, b, and c. It's c squared equals a squared, and it's always the opposite. So if you have a plus here, you put a minus. If you had a minus here, it would be a hyperbola, then you would put a plus here. Okay, so c squared is, let's see, a squared is 16, b squared is 7, so you get 9. So c here will be 3, and a squared is 16, so a is 4. And so now we'll just use the formula. So E is C over A, so 3 over 4. And that's it. And our answer does make sense. For an ellipse, the eccentricity should always be between 0 and 1. And it is. 3 fourths is 0.75, which is definitely between 0 and 1.